Lord Jesus Christ, I welcome you to this episode of Christ Hope Ministry, which comes to you every Monday evening at 9 p.m. I welcome you in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. This is the hour of hope, which comes to you at 9 p.m. United Kingdom time. I'm most grateful to you all in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and I welcome you. Please let your friends know about this broadcast every time. Let them join us live as well. May God continue to bless you. I know you are all ardent supporter, supporters of this ministry and I know that Lord will bless you and provide all your needs in the mighty name of Jesus. Welcome once again. Before we start the ministration, please join me in this prayer. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, what can I say but to thank you that this is another day you, the creator of heaven and earth, has made, and we shall continue to rejoice that you have created us and been with us, you have guided us, and we are today in our in our different homes. I thank you, Lord, for sparing our lives 
a lot of things has passed since our birth till now. But it's not by our power or might, it is you that has done it. Therefore, we praise your name. I dare commit this ministration to your care this hour. Father, I ask you that you take control of everything, both the environment of the speaker and the hearers of this world. Sanctify it, O Lord, anything that will disturb us. Father, remove it on our ways, O Lord God. Remove it in our environment so that you, my Lord, my God, you take preeminence at this hour. I ask you that your Holy Spirit will descend on every one of us as we speak and hear your word. And that word will come from heaven. And it will not be against us on the last day, but will encourage us to move very close to you so that at the end we will haul off a cause to glorify your name and gain the eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I welcome you once again uh, to the broadcast, Christ Hope Ministry, Hour of Hope. Today's ministration, it might look ridiculous, it might look strange, but I will explain to you. And I'm sure you must have known the reason why uh, I am bringing this to you. What the, the message is, the vaccine I discovered is 100% guaranteed. The vaccine I discovered is 100% guaranteed. And I want you to do what? To come and use it. I'm inviting you to that so that you yourself, you, if you don't know that there is a vaccine that is it is above the vaccine of this world. Uh, you know, in the last uh, one year or so, the world has been de uh, bedeviled with a pandemic called COVID-19. The disease, you know, started ravaging the world uh, late last year but did not have any effect until sometimes in March when the world, I would say the world, was under locked for about four to six weeks and everything have gone, have, 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 in fact, everything in the world was a lockdown. And since then, all the scientists, they have gone to work to discover a kill. A kill to this pandemic. And they, 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 they work and uh, from everything, they've done their best. And uh, lately, they discovered a, a vaccine Firstly discovered by Pfizer, Bio and, and Tech. Pfizer, Bio and Tech. What they discovered as a cure, they say it's about, I think it's about 90 to 95 percent. Oxford discovered their own, they say it's about 60 percent. And another one in U.S. discover, uh, I think, uh, uh, modem or something like that, Mondema, Mondena or something like that. Their own is ninety percent guaranteed that can kill this pandemic. But I have a good news for you. That discovery that can cure it. That is hundred percent guaranteed. In fact, uh, I believe last week. Uh, last week, I believe last week. Uh, in the last week, United Kingdom started to uh, st uh, started it to give um, people from the age of uh, eighty and above, and all. I, I, anyway, they started it. 
you know, even though Pfizer BioNTech guaranteed 94% or something like that, but they now discovered that there is side effect. All this you know. I'm just saying it as a background to this message. All this you already know. What they did was, they, now they said there is side effect that if you have a, a reaction, then don't use it. Don't use that kill which they discovered. But I've got the good news for you. That one I brought to you, no side effect is 100% guaranteed. And that is our Lord Jesus Christ. It's 100% guaranteed. There's nothing, no negative effect. Whatever allergy you have, those ones they have, they, if you have allergies, don't use it. Even though they guarantee 94 or 95%, but my own Jesus Christ is 100% and there is no side effect. Even the side effect you have, like allergy, my Lord Jesus Christ can cure it. I am, I am, that is why I am very bold. And that is why I invite you, like uh, Psalm, Psalm, uh, Psalm 34, Psalm 34 verse 8 says, All taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. Taste it and see that the Lord is good. So I have brought our Lord Jesus Christ to you. The vaccine I brought to you is our Lord Jesus Christ and is guaranteed. You are guaranteed if you accept Christ. Whatever sickness, in fact, majority of this ministration is to prospective sick or who are already sick to taste, to have what they, to guard, to assure them that they have no nothing to worry. Look here, please. I'm not saying don't use medicine. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that if you use that medicine, it's not guaranteed. But not until you had Jesus Christ into it, then you are guaranteed without any side effect. And that Jesus Christ is the one we are celebrating now our days. You know, this time, in the, this time in the, let's say the last uh, week, till say 25th or 26th of December is, is the uh, Christmas period. That is why I, you will hear the music that is playing now. It's telling you that Jesus Christ has come to the world. He came for a purpose. And this purpose, you have to understand this. He has come in already. He was prophesied. His coming has already been prophesied before his birth. Uh, the first one I will make reference to about is, uh, the prophecy is in the book of Isaiah. chapter. Nine. All this you know, but I have to remind you, because some of us, we have our Bible, we read it, we forget. So this one no, is uh, uh, the Psalm, is Psalm 34, 8. Psalm 34, 8, not 38. So, uh, Isaiah. I, I, let's come with me to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9. I will read 6 and 7. Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. He said, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government is upon his shoulder, 
and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. And 7 says, Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth and uh, even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. So, he is the wonderful, called wonderful, counselor, mighty God, everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. So, you are guaranteed, that's what I'm saying, you are already guaranteed. Jesus Christ has already guaranteed you. And also, Moses also said that, look, there is someone that will come after him. He will send someone, yeah, and, and uh, come with me again to the book of uh, uh, Deuteronomy, I believe so. Deuteronomy uh, 18. 18, 18. I'm just telling you that vaccine has already, even before we came to the world, is already been prophesied. And I'm asking you to come and test him. And you will see that he is good. 18, 18 says, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, and will put my word in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. Yeah? And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he speaks in my name, I will require it of him. You see, God has already made the plan for you and for me. That that man, that creator, the counselor, the comforter, prince of peace, almighty God, has already been predicted. And that is the 100% vaccine kill that is guaranteed in your life, which I want you to. To know and understand. And the Bible records in the book of Matthew chapter 1. Uh, Matthew chapter 1 verse uh, 33. Uh, verse 23. That, that Jesus Christ was born of a virgin. He was born of a virgin. And John 3.16 says. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, if you are guaranteed accepting him of everlasting life, that simply tells you, yeah, that simply tells you that whatever sickness you have, whatever cure you need, that is guaranteed that, that, that there is no side effect like an allergies if you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior there is no other there is no side effect at all whatever allergies with your allergy it will even kill your allergy when you accept Christ as your Lord and Savior it tells us in the book of uh, in the book of uh, John 14 Verse 6 that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one cometh to the Father except by me. So, so this is the Jesus Christ I have brought to you. That you should accept 100 percent guaranteed. You can use him, is like your Bible say, Bogon She. Whatever sickness. Whatever challenges that you have, that is the vaccine that you need. Jesus Christ is the vaccine that you need to cure all your diseases, to cure all your ailments. 
is because and you also tell look someone who is not in the dark who is the light you can see that if, if someone is the light he sees everything there's no darkness so every nooks and corners of your home every nooks and corners of your of your body he sees it every nooks and corners of your body he sees it that's why it tells us in the book of uh, psalms uh, the book of psalm 18 let's go to 45 i believe Aha. psalm 18 45 he says the strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their closet places out of their closets that is what sorry yoruba if you if i say it in yoruba is to he said i want a lejo one of the berubojo back color thing one law and the sickness in your body when he, he when it hears the name of our lord jesus christ it will famous it will go away from your body believe in the name of jesus it will get go away from your body. Christ is the hundred percent guaranteed vaccine that you need to take, and it's available and it's free. You don't have to go to anybody if you don't want to, because he said, "Call me when you call me, I will answer." And if you think that you are weak or you need assistance of other people, you can go to people that will be of help to you. He says in a John 8, 12, I am the light. And that darkness will never overpower a light. Yes, I am the light. Also in John 11, uh, 25, it says, I am the resurrection and the life. So it means that it can raise you up. Even when you are dead. I'm not saying you die as if you die. But if your, your whole body dies, it can, like in the book of uh, Jeremiah 36 or something, he said, he told Jeremiah to speak to the bone and spoke to the bone. And then he said, speak, uh, and the bone started to make, come back like Uma, but without breath. And he said, breath, he said, thou knoweth. Then God breath into that bone and it becomes now. So when you come to Christ, whatever challenges you may have, be rest assured that our Lord Jesus Christ can do it, can remove that from you. He can remove it, that sickness that is worrying you. He can remove it. He is the remover of all the sickness that you think you have. He says also that I am the door. I am the gate. In John chapter 10, John 10, 7. John 10, 7, and I will read 7 and 9. John 10, 7 and 9. He says, Then Jesus then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. And verse 9. And finally, also he said, I am the door. By me, if any man enters, he shall be saved and shall go in and go in and out and find pasture. It means you go in and out and get healed. The passion in this sense is the vaccine, the medicine that you need to be cured. Go in and out free of charge. You don't have to pay any money. You don't have to go out of your closet. Although you can go to the elders of the church, the Bible allows you to seek assistance for people to pray for you. But you don't have to offer money to them. But with this vaccine, if not because of this emergency, it's going to cost people it's on NHS, except people that are uh, sitting above, they can have it free. But those who are 
the majority they will still pay for it but the vaccine i've got the vaccine that i am introducing the vaccine that i have discovered that is 100 percent guaranteed is this jesus christ that says i am the light i am the resurrection of the life i am the door i am the gate he also says in uh, uh, John chapter 6, 35, John chapter 6, 35, that I am the bread of life. I am the bread of life. When you eat in, you will not be what? You will not be hungry. So when you accept Christ and you swallow Christ, you will not be sick. Whatever sickness that is in your body, they are temporary. Taste Christ and see that He is good. Come and see that Christ is really, really good. And I'm asking you to accept Him as Lord and Savior. So, Jesus Christ, He is, a, he is the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd. He is the good shepherd. In the book of the same John, Chapter uh, chapter ten, verse eleven to eight, verses eleven to ten and uh, to eighteen. John, chapter ten, eleven to eighteen. Eleven says, "I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. He has come. He has given his life. He laid his life for you to be healed." For me to be healed, for you to be cured of any ailment, for you to be cured of any disease, for me to be cured of any disease that might inflict us. The Lord wants good health for you. He said, I, I will satisfy you with good health. That's uh, Psalm 91. Uh, Psalm 91, I think. Verse 14, come with me. Psalm 91, let's see. Uh, Psalm 91. Uh, verse, the last verse. Oh, sorry, verse 16. Aha. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. With long life, I will satisfy him you and show you my salvation obviously that means your sickness will not go unto, unto death it will satisfy you with long life long life that disease that pandemic that COVID-19 by the grace of God will not take your life in the name of Jesus if anybody has died because of that it's not because God does not love them. It's not because they have sinned. It's not because they don't. They, they, there's no Christ in their life. Everyone has come to the world for a purpose, and they will die for any purpose which God has he has marked them to die of. So all you need is Christ. Once you have that Christ. He will kill you of any ailment. He will kill you of all these diseases that are that are ravaging the whole world. This pandemic, most especially this COVID-19. That is affecting every everywhere in the world. I'm not sure whether there's any country that it has never reached. I'm not sure. So it's not God does not love you. He loves you. He likes you. He said, seek and you will find. The one who says you should, you should seek and you will find. Do you think when you pray to him, he will not answer you? Do you think he will not answer you? Eh? Do you think he will not answer you? He will answer you. If, if he says seek and you find, that's a guarantee. 
uh, in the book of uh, Luke chapter 11, 9. Luke 11, 9. Luke 11, 9. Says, and I say unto you, that our Lord Jesus Christ speaking to us. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Ask, seek, knock. A-S-K, ask. A for ask, S for seek, K for knock. Once you do that, that one song says, "Pay ni bang bang, pay ni koko." Olu bala ni bi bobo kosi biti kwa oti dami lo un yi oda olo un pay ni bang bang. Calling in the open, calling in secret. Christ is everywhere. He has answered me. He will answer you. It's a pandemic. Coronavirus is a pandemic. COVID-19 is a pandemic. And I know by the grace of God, it will it has come and it will go. It's just that we are, none of us have seen something like this before. That is why it's like this. There has been a lot in the past that has taken lives of people. We have to thank God. <coughs> We hear that there was a flu in those days, about 100 years ago, something like that, that killed about 50,000 people in the uh, what, one million in the world. But God, our Lord Jesus Christ, loves you and me. That is why I, uh, I he has sent me to you to say, look, even if you want to use any of this uh, medicine, there is a medicine that you must not do without and that is Jesus Christ the author and finisher of our faith the perfecter of everything about us the one that perfects you that perfect me and that is our Lord Jesus Christ so that has happened in the past but Jesus Christ is here with you now. Come and use him. Taste him. Taste him. The same thing if you go to, uh, I think, Matthew 7, uh, 7, 7 as well. Ask. When you ask him, he will do it for you. He's a living water. He's a living water. Living water. You know, that's uh, in the book of John, chapter 4. When he met that woman, uh, I think verse 10, John, John 4, 10, he met the woman by the well. And he said, look, I will give you that water. I am the living water. What you don't know, I'm telling you now, I am the living water. No one else. So you need to taste this living water and you will see that he is sweet and you must taste him. He is the living water that you need, that I need. That living water, we must let it Be in us. Drink. We must drink it. It's free. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay. You don't have to pay to have that living water, which is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. Your Savior, my Savior. He is that vaccine that I have brought to you. It's 100% guaranteed. Once you have Christ in your life, he will hear you. He will, he will, he, 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 he said he's the living water. When you drink him, you are killed. You must have faith. You are completely killed. Someone who will also tells us in the book of Revelation chapter 22, uh, 22, 13. 
Revelation 22, 13 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So even before you are born, like he told Ezekiel, uh, before you are born, he knows about you. He knows about you. Before you are born, so he knows everything about you. Before you, even before you, you, before you die, even after your death, he knows everything about you. That is the hundred percent vaccine kill that I brought to you. That I discovered that once you use that key, uh, vaccine, which is Jesus Christ, you are really healed. He assure you that if you come to me, eh, if you come to me, he will remove all your body and will give you rest. In Matthew 11, 28, come unto me, all you that labor and heavy lady, all you that are sick, all you that have diseases, all you that are in danger, all you, whatever uh, ailment you have, all of you that have ailment, all of you that are ravaged by this pandemic, come unto me. Bring it. When you call upon me, I will answer you. That is an assurance. He has guaranteed us 100% healing. Free of charge. You don't have to go to any doctor. But you can, if, you're, if you want to go to your, uh, well, in, the, in this sense, your pastor, your shepherd, your prophet, your teacher, your evangelist, you want to go for prayer, yes, but it's free. It's free. Come unto me. Come to me. Like he says in the book, in, in that uh, John, uh, John chapter four. He says in John chap that John chapter four that look, if if you come give me that water, I am the living water. He says that look, if you are thirsty, come, come, come. Uh, that is Isaiah in the book of Isaiah uh, fifty five. If you are thirsty, so it means whatever problems you have, bring it to him. Bring it to Christ. He will heal you. He will remove all those. And we are assured by Paul the Apostle in the book of Romans 13, 13, Romans 13, 13, that if you call upon his name, you will be saved. You will be healed. You will be cured. If you call upon his name, is Jesus Christ's name. If you call in the, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, if you call God, Jehovah, Elom, El Shaddai, Elroy, if you call upon him, you will be saved. You will be cured. You have nothing to fear. And if you come to him, as he said in the book of uh, uh, John, John chapter 6, John chapter 6, John chapter 6, come with me to verse 37. Yeah? Come with me to 37, verse 37. That everyone that comes to him, he will not cast you out. He said, all that, John 6, 15, says, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. So, why aren't you coming to him? Why not? He will not cast you out. He will not reject you. If you come to me to come and pray for you, I may say, no, I haven't got time. But Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, he has the time. Time is never his problem. He's there for you 24-7. 24-7. He's there for you. So, if you come to Christ, as we read in John 6, 37, he will not cast you out. Eh? 
we all know that in the evening, when the, the sick were brought to him, the Bible tells us that all of them went home, healed all. Come with me to the book of St. Luke chapter 4. St. Luke chapter 4, verse 40, towards the end. Luke 4, yes, Luke 4, 40. Luke 4, 40, you see, the, the one I've just, I used the other time. That is uh, John 6, 37, that he will not cast anyone that comes to him. Yes, John 6, 37, if you come to him. He will not cast anyone out. And that is what is telling, makes us to understand. He confirmed it in the book of Matthew chapter 4. Sorry, uh, firstly, firstly, Luke chapter 4 verse 40. Luke 4 40. And it says, When the sun was set, setting, all they that had any sick with diverse diseases were brought unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them and he healed them on every one of them and he healed them he healed them he healed them so what are you waiting for the same thing i believe the same thing is in the book of uh, matthew chapter 4 verse 24 matthew 24 i uh, sorry matthew 4 24 matthew 4 24 he says, Matthew 4 24 says, and he say his fame went throughout all Syria, and they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases and torments, and those who were possessed with devil, and those which were lunatic, and those that have palsy, and he healed them. What is pandemic? What is COVID-19? In the presence of Jesus Christ. With Jesus Christ, what is COVID-19? So you can see, both Matthew, uh, Matthew 4, 24 and um, uh, Luke chapter 4, verse, 20, uh, verse 40, says the same thing. Diverse disease were brought to him and they all went home, healed. He did not cast anybody out. He did not reject anybody. He did not say, I'm not going to heal you. He, he, he did not do that. And let me give you examples of those people he has healed, which I'm not going to go into details because of time. If you go to the book of Matthew chapter 12, 15, Matthew 12, 15, you will see how he cast out demons. When he spoke, he cast out demons. Even he does not have to do any prayer. Even when he was teaching, when he was preaching, all what he does is healing. He comes with healing. And I pray God will give me as well that power that as I'm speaking to you, whatever sickness you have, whatever disease you have, whatever pains, that you have, my Lord Jesus Christ will heal you in the name of Jesus. That's all you need. Whatever he is the great healer. He healed all the demons. And Matthew 12 15, Matthew 12 15 says the same thing. He healed all. Matthew 12. Uh, Matthew 12 15. Verse 15 says but when jesus knew it he withdrew himself from thence and great multitude followed him and healed them all even 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 when he tried to withdraw himself the multitude when they say multitude i don't think a multitude would be a thousand people or say a hundred people we be a lot of people he tried to withdraw, but they followed him. And they brought sick, different sicknesses to him. And he healed them. 
So he hid all the sick people. Matthew 11. Matthew 14, 14. Uh, uh, let's, let's go there as well, please. Uh, Matthew 14, 14. All the sick. So what's your sickness? Whatever you can extend your sickness, interpretation of your sickness. Hey, this is this sickness, this is that, this is this sickness. People will say, oh, if you don't have money, you are sick. If you can't go anywhere, you are sick. If, whatever, if that is inclusive of what you turn to be sickness, Christ is ready to heal you. And by the grace of God, is healing you. Because the hand of the Lord is coming upon you as we are speaking to confirm his, his worth that he is a true God, he is the true God that we need to follow. Uh, Matthew 14, 14. Matthew 14, 14. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude, multitude and was moved with compassion towards them and he healed their sick. He healed their sick. You see? So you can see all those things he has, he, people he has healed. The same thing. When people touched him, they got healing. In the book of Matthew, 14, the same thing, 14, verse uh, 36. They only need to touch him. He did not have to even speak or even see that person. And you remember that woman with the issue of blood. In the book of John. You remember that. The woman with issue of blood. All she needed was to touch the hem of the garment of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the blood that has been troubling him, troubling her, for 12 years dried. Why not tap into this Christ? Even those of you listening to me, you want healing. Not what the, the normal healing you want. But you, you, you may be uh, troubled with issue of blood as well. You thought that, oh, you were reached in, uh, I think they say, I, I believe, sorry if I don't know, they say uh, puberty. Then when someone gets to the, the period of puberty, you will not see uh, blood again, the, the normal monthly cycle. If you are still seeing it, what have you not done? You have not tapped Jesus Christ. You have not touched the hem of his garment. You have not drank him. You have not sought him. You have not gone to him. You have not asked him. But you need to do all those. Touch his garment. He is the bread of life. Get that bread and eat it. He is the water of life. Drink it. You will be healed. If you come to him, he will not, you will not be thirsty again. If you, if you drink his water, you will not be thirsty again. He will give you water that will quench your thirsty. That is my Lord Jesus Christ. The creator of heaven and earth. When the, even the lame, the lame, when they came to him, he healed them. You know, it's not only, only, only praying. Or, and he spoke, he only needs to speak. Remember that Jairus woman, man, said, just speak that word. And I know that my daughter will be healed. And God, Jesus Christ spoke the word. And the man went home. He asked, when he was coming, one of the servants met the man. He said, he told him that the daughter was healed. He asked for the time. Because the man looked at the time when Jesus Christ said, that child is already here. When that lady now confirmed to our Lord Jesus Christ and said that he was here at certain time, the man gave glory to God. I pray and I pronounce in the mighty name of Jesus as that man, Jairus, gave glory to God because his daughter was healed instantly. You will give glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. You will receive his healing 
His healing hand will be upon you. He will touch you overnight in the mighty name of Jesus. He will touch everyone concerning you. He will will touch anyone that is that is connected to you that you want touched. He will touch him or her, and they will receive their healing. Even if they are in this pandemic trouble, God the Lord will heal them. Don't trouble yourself. A lot of people they said they have pandemic. This uh, coronavirus is just a little because they catch it from somewhere, and once they don't go out or something like that, it will go. Just will be like that. Even if you have caught it, it will not go to death. I tell you in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone, if you are hearing this message, or anyone that hears it later, when they hear this message, and they are sick, they will receive their healing. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will touch them and they will receive healing completely without any trouble. So, my brothers and sisters, receive Christ. Receive Christ. Receive Christ. Only when you receive Christ will you have complete healing. That is when you will have complete healing. Let me tell you. The book of Mark. Uh, 6. Let's, let's see uh, what it says. Mark. Come with me to the book of Mark. Chapter 6. Chapter 6, uh, verse 56, <clears throat> it says, And whosoever he entered, anywhere he entered, into the villages or city or country, they laid the sick in the streets and besought him that he might touch, if it were but the border of his, his garment, and as many as touched him, were made whole. He for Once I touch the hem of his garment, I will receive even. Speak that into your life today. As when anytime I touch his garment, I will receive my healing. Say it as you are listening to this message. Say it. Anytime I touch his garment, I will receive my healing. Whatever sickness. And look, you may not you may not be have to go to hospital, not the normal, but whatever sickness you think you have. Like I said, if you have expanded what they call sickness, if you have expanded it, whatever you regard as sickness, what say when I touch his garment. Speak that sickness in your body with a moose. If you say it, you will receive it. You understand? You will receive it. And let me tell you, God is after your physical being. He wants to heal you physically. Uh, let's go to the book of Isaiah. He won't as it heals you spiritually. He will heal you physically. Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53. I will read from I will read 3 and 4. Isaiah 53, 3 and 4. He says, He is despised and rejected of man, of men. A man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we eat as it were our faces from him. He was despised and was esteemed, and we esteemed him not. Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrows, yet we did esteem striking, smiting of God, and afflicted. And the Bible went to say uh, in verse 5 that I will just go jump that. It said, with a stride, 
we are healed. So the, 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 the guarantee, the 100% vaccine I am talking about that is guarantee is our Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the 100% vaccine that you need at this present moment. Even if you go to take that vaccine they are giving to people, I'm not advising you to do it, it's up to you. But Jesus Christ is the 100% vaccine that is guaranteed he is after your whole being healing uh, let's go again to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 Deuteronomy chapter 7 I believe if we go to verse 15 what what he told the Egyptians what he assured the Egyptians in the desert that is what I brought to you as well when you use it you are completely, he said, and the Lord will take away, just say amen, the Lord will take, take away from you all sickness, and he will put none of the evil disease in your surrounding, which you know, or which you don't know upon you, but will lay upon you all those who ate you. That's what he told them. Yeah? You will not. He will take away that sickness from you in Jesus' name. And all those diseases, which you know or you don't know, he will not allow it to inflict you in the mighty name of Jesus. That is what the Bible says. And I'm not using anything I am only using our Lord Jesus Christ. Whether for you or for your, someone that is very close to you. However close they may be. They will not. I repeat. They will not be infected. And if they have been infected before this message. The good news is that. That one is a temporary one. It's not unto death. It will never lead unto death. Because that is the fear of the world. Yes? So it's, it's after your physical being, your physical healing. He wants you to be physically fit. And it says in uh, Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. Matthew 4, 23 says... Matthew 4 23. Matthew 4 23 says, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. Whether physical, whether spiritual, whatever the sickness, whether you think you can see or you cannot see. If it's a sickness that is troubling you, my Lord Jesus Christ will heal you in the mighty name of Jesus. You have to understand. You have to believe that he will do it because he has said it. He will not leave you without doing it. He will not allow anything to happen to you. What he has said, he has said it. What he has promised, once the word has come out, once the, that word has come out of him, he has pronounced to you tonight healing and you'll be healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember, uh, I think it's uh, the book of Jeremiah. Heal me and I will be healed. Save me and I will be saved and I will praise your name. I pronounce and I, I decree, because it says whatever we decree on earth shall be established in heaven. I, I say by the anointing of our Lord Jesus Christ, decree into your life that that sickness, you will not see them anymore in the mighty name of Jesus. I know before you tune in to this message, you believe that God can help, can do it. And you, will not, you, will not, you are not just listening to it Perform any sickness you have or anyone that is connected with you 
wherever he or she may be. My prayer this evening, this hour, this minute, is that my Lord Jesus Christ will go to wherever they may be and heal them of their infirmities, of their diseases, or their sickness in the mighty name of Jesus. And it will not come back again in Jesus' name. What God has done, and it shall be, your son will be, he shall be permanent. He shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for me, he shall be permanent. Come with me again before I go. Matthew chapter 8. Matthew chapter 8, verses 16 and 17. Matthew chapter 8, 16 and 17. When they even... Uh, well, because Isaiah said about When the evil was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils, and he cast out the spirit with his word, and healed all that were sick, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, Him himself took our infirmities and bear our sickness. That is why I say, brothers and sisters, come, come to Jesus. Come to Christ. He is the 100% cure. He is the one I've brought you. That is what I've discovered. That is the 100% vaccine I've discovered that can heal you 100% guaranteed. No side effect. The vaccine they started to give from last week. Uh, last week, uh, uh, December, I think they started uh, in United Kingdom, probably uh, Wednesday or something like that. Where is the last week? Which was uh, I didn't I think that was on the on the eighth of December, which they started. We discover now that even though they say it's under uh, 90 percent or ninety five percent guaranteed, but it's having side effect. If you have allergy, don't use it. But my Lord Jesus Christ, which I have brought to you today, whatever sickness, even. If you want to use him for headache and you don't know yet that you have a back pain, use it. It's bobo and she. It's for everything. It will cure you completely when you eat him as the bread of life. You drink him as the water, the blood, the wine, the blood of Jesus Christ. You drink the blood. You will receive your healing in the mighty name of Jesus. So I am beckoning to you, brothers and sisters. Come to him. He will not cast you out. Come to Christ. Accept him. If you have not accepted him, I am using this opportunity. Accept Christ. Accept Christ. That is the only way. To have 100% cure, guaranteed, no side effect. When you are certain, you will not doubt. Please, don't doubt. He is able abundantly able to deliver and to save. He is able abundantly able to deliver those who trust in him. I know before you say you want to accept him, you have already trusted in him. So you are trusting, that is why you have come to him. And I believe it will heal you. And you will get that healing in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. And the Lord will continue to be with you, uphold you. Please, as usual, I thank you. Help us to share this message. And God will increase you mightily in Jesus' name. Thank you. Jehovah, Jesus Christ, Holy Michael. Father, I thank you. Because that kill, the world is looking for. They don't know that is is you that you are always there and is free of charge. The world will discover their home, but they are not guaranteed. But you, you are guaranteed hundred percent no side effect. And I've asked your children to use you to accept you today to receive their healing to be cured completely. And I pray you, Almighty Father, they will receive their healing in Jesus' name. Your hand will be upon them. Your glory will show in their life. Thank you, my Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. 
Amen in Jesus' name. Thank you once again. God bless you. Uh, that is, please join us again next week on Monday. Thank you very much. We'll see you again next week. God bless you. Thank you.